How did it feel when uh, COVID hit? Hmm. It felt very disappointing because we're a project-based learning school. We do projects almost every other week, like new project rolling in. And it was really fun. And um, it was kind of scheduled. It threw my schedule off because I was used to just getting up every day and seeing my friends and working on projects and doing work and collaborating. But since COVID hit, we really couldn't finish what we really started. What was the one thing you missed most about school when we switched to 100% virtual back in March? I would say I miss my teachers the most. They really um, push us and I, I had got so comfortable with um, the teachers and I feel like they really motivated me, us to do more work and to do better and to strive for more. And I think I really missed that. That was really what I missed the most. How has being part of Fusion and New Tech at the high school changed the way you approach your learning? It has changed it a lot because I used to be a very closed off person when I was younger. So I'm like, okay, I'll learn this. Never ask for help because it's not that I had a seniority complex. It's that I just had a large fear and that's still something that I have. But since being in New Tech and being in groups, I've kind of definitely loosened up a lot more so I'm able when I'm doing work or when I'm working with a group and I ask those questions and I give ideas and I ask for what am I doing that needs to change I find it a lot easier for me to do those things because I have the group work and we're working as a unified machine we're all doing different parts we're all doing different things to work towards a bigger goal bueno, gracias. Desde, la siguiente pregunta es, ¿cuál esperanza o deseo les tiene a sus hijos pensando en el futuro? ¿Qué les, qué les desea a ellos? Yo deseo que ellos um, hagan lo que ellos quieren hacer, que estudien. Los tres quieren estudiar a, a la universidad. Y eh, mi más grande deseo es ese, que, que ellos puedan hacer la universidad y la, y el, y la, la escuela que ellos quieren que ellos hagan la, la carrera que ellos elijan, que, que terminen y que sean unas, unas buenas personas. Ese es mi, mi mayor deseo, que siempre sean buenas personas y que siempre sean amables y buenos con los demás. Like, I came in super excited because I asked, like, what are our parameters, kind of? That was my first thing. Like, I always want to feel it out and know what the rules are because I'm kind of a rule follower and when Mandy told me like it's pretty wide open like anything goes it's just up to you and your creativity like I was super excited but I was also a little bit scared because I thought well what if I'm not good enough like what if I'm not <laughs> like I can't figure out or I don't think out of the box enough because maybe, you know, teaching 23 years, even though I've always been told I teach differently and I've always tested the limits and I've gotten in trouble for it too, um, that maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe I was just trained a certain way and I couldn't like find that passion again that I had when I was younger. A teacher that's made a positive impact on me would probably be Miss Carol. Um, she's not one of the easiest teachers you're ever going to meet. She's not going to back down from what she believes in. And I feel like that those are one of the most, are two of the most important characteristics that you have to have as an individual, especially as an African-American woman. This is the first time I've ever been to a school where there hasn't been one kid that's been mean or rude to anyone. As far as I know, mm -hmm. there hasn't been any cases of bullying, which is, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's because everyone here understands because everyone here is very, is very different. And I don't think by different, I mean, they're not as, they all understand what it's like to not fit in. I think there have been many instances where the, um, students you know have talked about some things that they were going through and no one no one no one said that that was wrong or anything like that they just said that that was 
that they understood it. So I don't, I don't think, I think it's just that it's a mutual understanding and because everyone, including the teachers and staff is understanding mm -hmm. it, it, you know, one act of kindness always leads to another, that kind of thing. Do you think that's like advisory, like through circle time or it's just how classes go to? Uh, both. So I really like the collaboration and how much the teachers actually interact with the students and include them. It's just it's just really nice to actually be a part of the learning cycle instead of just having information thrown at us. We actually get to like talk through it and work through it. One experience that I have had, um, it was back in middle school. Um, I felt like a teacher. She was white. Um, and this was one of my first real encounters with discrimination and racism. Um, she would, you know, patronize me, not really acknowledge my intelligence and the knowledge who I was um, as a role in her class, like as a student. And yeah, in that experience, I felt lonely. I felt discouraged, but it only made me a stronger person because now I know who I am and what I don't accept. Because we're distance, things are lost in conversation. So sometimes like it's difficult building a relationship. The one thing that I've noticed, and maybe it's just because we're um, distance, is that I feel like our team has a relationship with math, but I don't feel like we have a relationship with science. Like, I don't know what's going on in science. And I kind of noticed that about seventh grade too. I'm not sure if that's true. And like, I don't understand like, like, like why, <laughs> what, how can we make that better? You know, but we do, we've tried to have an eighth grade like team, like on Wednesdays, we'll have a team meeting most of the time, but it's always like, everyone's afraid to ask if we're having one because it's not regularly <laughs> scheduled. And then if we do, like, um, we do talk about some, I guess, hey, how's it going stuff. We do talk about some school stuff, like, but it seems like the relationship isn't fully formed and functional there. And it really needs to be because I feel like it's holding us back. I just, I don't know. I think sometimes we need to be a little bit more focused on what we're doing and our end goal, like I kind of don't know what our end goal is and what we're trying to accomplish. And just, I mean, we can still have fun, but I don't think we focus enough on that. La siguiente pregunta, no más quedan dos. Es, ¿por qué escogió matricular a, a sus hijos en la escuela Macorco? Yo escogí la escuela Macorco porque, uh, primero, porque nosotros éramos vecinos. Um, ahí en la escuela o, y la principal razón porque me, me gusta que la escuela es bilingüe por eso fue que yo escogí la escuela y hay otra cosa que quiera la última pregunta compartir con nosotros o avisar o decir pues nada nomás que todo esto se componga pronto y que todos estemos otra vez de regreso a la escuela me, me da mucha uh, como sentimiento que mi hija ya la fecha ya no más le quedan dos años y este año pues como quien dice no ni estuvimos en la escuela y pues sí, sí siento así que, que ya no hace falta regresar a la escuela y yo me incluyo porque a mí me gusta mucho ir a la escuela ver qué están haciendo y todo eso I think a lot of students are tired not just um not just physically but emotionally and mentally i think that we're tired and it's not just because of the pandemic we're just tired and unmotivated and i think because of sometimes students have things at home that really contribute to that maybe it might be because of the pandemic but i, I know a lot of my peers are really tired and really motivated and they need something to just like i said want them to come back again want them to come on the Zoom calls, want them to come or come to school, want them to complete the assignments, want them to do projects, you know, like how we did last year. Last year, we wanted to come every day. But this year, I, I can see a little change in the energy, a little unmotivation. So I think that's what we could do more of motivating the students to say that we're still here, we're still new tech.